Hello and welcome to this new video on VTS Editor. In the previous video we covered the creation of your first interactive dialogue. You are about to jump into the sea of how to use blocks. However, there are a lot of blocks. No panic, we're here to guide you. Blocks are accessible at two different levels. In the scenario, which is color-coded in blue, and in the scenes, which are color-coded in magenta. You can follow a breadcrumbs trail in the top left corner. The blocks accessible at the scenario level are technical blocks to control certain points of the scenario. We'll come back to these. The majority of blocks are accessible at the scene level. You can open the library of blocks by clicking on the vertical bar on the right. You can also open it by right-clicking on an empty space of the background or by pressing the spacebar on your keyboard. Some blocks, mostly obsolete or unpopular blocks, are only accessible through this method. If you know VTS Editor and you need a specific block, you should be able to find it there. On the right, blocks are separated into three categories and two columns. On one side, you have technical blocks, which consist of more advanced features which may not be seen by the learners in the simulation. Notably amongst them, flags will allow you to mark your scenario. You also have the weight, random and count blocks and the newly added badge block. In the second column, you will find the standard blocks, which allow you to add interactions or visible elements to your scene. Let's focus on these blocks first. The standard blocks are separated into two categories. In orange, you have the content and information blocks with, for instance, the speak block, emotion block, but also the animation block which we added in the 4.0 version and several media blocks. In green below, however, you have all the interactive blocks. You can find the sentence choice block which you already know and different types of quizzes, list with or without pictures, true, false and so on. You also have the media click block which allows you to create interactions with the environment and the clickable zones block to easily add interactive elements to the screen. You can find tutorial videos on each of these blocks in our documentation. In the next video, we'll discover how to use some of these blocks to personalize the experience through media.